But uh, regarding our case, as we have always told you, the federal government has no case and they are not interested in prosecuting any case. When we got to court today, they brought uh, two lawyers who look very confused, uh, as usual. <laughs> yes. The last lawyer who was rude to us, they claim they have transferred her out of the Ministry of Justice or the Ministry of Injustice, uh, which is uh, back here. And uh, they said because they just received the case file, they are not ready for trial again today. This is after five years. In a case that ought to be going on on a daily basis, the trial is supposed to be going on on a daily basis. Uh, so, of course, we, as you can imagine, there are a lot of legal fireworks in court, including me getting into the fray, reminding the judge uh, that he threatened last time to dismiss this case. Why is he still uh, not doing the needful? But the judge, uh, as usual, also gave his own excuses that... Uh, he wants to exhaust the process. We know that if they have 100 years, they have no case. Yes. And we said it from the beginning, and I keep reminding everybody. In 2019, before I was arrested, that nobody can prosecute us. Nobody can prosecute the revolution. Yes. But the good news is that uh, the revolution they are running from is getting closer. Mm -hmm. As I've always said, when the revolution wants to happen, a lot of events will happen. But the last trigger is always hunger. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and the people of Nigeria are very hungry this time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as you know, an angry man, and I mean, in a hungry man is an angry man. So, yes, a hungry man is a revolutionary. So, Nigerians have been taken for granted, they have been battered. People have been destroyed. Businesses are leaving the country once again. People cannot afford to feed anymore, even if they want. Insecurity everywhere, kidnapping in every corner. And the currency of the country. As my friend here, DJ, has always advised that if you have dollar, keep it too. <laughs> if you have dollar, keep it. And based on uh, our own prophecy too, I said the dollar will reach 1,500. It's going to 2,000. What, what they have been doing is they are mopping up the dollar at 1,400. They will, they will release it during the Hajj. Because over 35,000 Nigerians go to Saudi Arabia for Hajj. And they take an average of $20,000 with them. So the dollar will go to 2,000 around that time. You can uh, mark it. They have done everything to destroy the economy. They have done everything to break an average Nigerian. And one of my greatest fears when we're under Buhari is that we wake up one day and say that Buhari is even a better person. That's where we are now. People are saying that, some people are even asking that Buhari should come back. Yes. Because the worst has, the, um, and I tell you, the worst is yet to happen. This is, I mean, Tinubu is not even in power for one year. And everybody, including those who voted for him, and those who are saying that it is our turn. What is their turn now is suffering, hunger, starvation, sorrow, you know, and a bloody lifestyle that is intolerable. So while we are at court today discussing this, we might as well also be planning a showdown with the federal government. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. And we will reach out to you very soon, yes. Nigerians. And we have been saying it, nobody is your savior. It's you that will have to save yourself this time around. I want that to be very clear to Nigerians. But don't be afraid. You all know that when we started this case, if you come to this court, police, army, uh, DSS will come. But now they are tired. Yes. So, I just want you to know that very soon...